Hey guys, today I have a new update for my graveyard project pan. This was created by Emily and Max and there's a whole bunch of people doing this. So basically the premise of this video is that there are two categories, the collecting cobwebs category and the resurrection category. And I picked three from each category. So collecting cobwebs is anything that's old in your collection. And then resurrection is anything that was already in a project pan that you're bringing back to try to hit a goal on. So uh, let's get into our progress. Um, this is my second update. I updated the last one way too early. So we've been working on this stuff for a while now. And um, let's just go in order of how I have them written down on my paper. The very first thing is from the collecting cobwebs category. And I put in my e.l.f. tone adjusting face primer. And my goal for this one is to completely finish it. And I did. So this only took me the last two months of focusing in on to have it completely gone. We started here and now it's done. Um, the pump went all the way up to here. I can see it when I go in that way. So all the way up to there, it's done. I squirted out as much as I possibly, once it got to the end, watch, there's probably some that can come out. Lovely. Um, when it got to the end, I squirted as much as I could out into a jar. Um, and then I finished it off that way, but it's done. That was the last little like spurt. So this guy is empty. It was definitely getting old in my collection. So I'm glad this is done. I have decided that I'm not going to roll in anything new to replace the things that are rolling out just because I'm feeling a little overwhelmed with projects and I want to play around a little bit more. So I'm just not going to replace things that I finished in this one. Um, this project does end on Halloween, so there's only two months left anyways. So I'm just going to not replace them. So one down. The next product is another collecting cobwebs. We'll do those first. And I had in my e.l.f. Hyper Shine lip gloss in the shade Vixen. My goal for this one was to finish it as well. And I did. That's This stuff won't pump out. Um... The intro, oh, they kind of wore off, but the intro was this green mark here, and then I only used it a few times for the next update here, but then I was able to finally focus in on this one, and we finished it off. These e.l.f. glosses typically go really quickly for me. Um, I have a few more that I would like to finish, but for right now, I'm focusing in on something else. But this is an empty, yay. And then the last Collecting Cobwebs product is a lipstick. This is the L'Oreal Lipstick in Pink Cashmere. And my goal for this one is to use about half of it. I have a line marked on a paper. And here is what it's looking like today. I mean, there's a ton of product in here. But I've been using this quite a bit. And when I roll it all the way down... That's what it's looking like. So there's a little bit of a, a dent going on in here. I usually just use a little bit of this because it is pretty bright. So I usually just top over um, whatever I'm, I'm usually using this one, which is like a darker nude. And then I kind of just top over it to make it a little bit more pink and bright. And that's kind of how I've been using it. But this is where we are at um, paper. So I want to get to this red line. Um, which is like about half, maybe a third. It's a good chunk, but we've used all of that green. So I think we might be able to do it. It's a little bit more than what we were able to use up this time. So we'll see. I think I'll be close. I'm not sure if we'll completely get there or not, but I'm going to try. Next for the resurrection category, I have three products in this category. The first one is the AOA BB cream and my goal is to completely finish it. Now, since last update, I ended up, you would have seen this in my 22 and 2022 project pan. I ended up mixing it in this container with the NARS tinted moisturizer. So they're both mixed together now in here. Um, I still want to completely finish this by 
the finale, but this is what it's looking like. And I like this so much better. The NARS one was just a little, was too dark for me. So I needed to mix it with something. And since I was already trying to finish the AOA foundation, I figured why not that one? And it wasn't my favorite with the consistency, but once I mixed them together, I like this so much more. It, it I really like it actually. So I think we're getting somewhere on this. This was really full. So you'll see this like every month in my 2020, my 22 in 2022 project pan. So if you want to see this one get updated more often, um, you'll see it there. So you would have already seen this if you watched that video, but um, my goal is still to finish that by the finale. So hopefully we can do that. Um, I did weigh this one. So at my 22 in 2022 project pan update at that, um, that was the first time I weighed it. It was weighing at 1.66 ounces. And now today it's weighing 1.48 ounces. So I've already made some pretty good progress weight wise since I weighed it last time, um, which has been like about a month. I weighed it on 729, which was a little bit early for that project. And then today I'm weighing it 821. So almost a month's worth of progress. Hopefully we can finish it for the finale, but I think this one's gonna be close. I am wearing this every day though. Next we have my Smashbox eyeshadow trio in filter. And I already had the shade vanilla completely gone. My goal for this was to hit pan on Sable and Sumatra. Um, and I did that. So I was actually focusing in on this for a while and I was able to hit pan on both of them. I have not much left in this color over here, which is Sable. Not a ton left. I was using this um, as a crease color for a while, but it was just a little too cool toned for some of the looks I was doing. So actually what I ended up doing was taking a chunk out of it, which is why it looks like that and mixing it with like a warm tone brown. And I finished that off completely, so um, I don't have anything to show of that. Um, you would have saw the empty pan in my empties video, my makeup empties, one of those eyeshadows from the uh, BH Cosmetics Neutral Eye Palette is what I mixed with this, and it was like a warmer tone brown. They mixed together really well, and it made it just like a nice neutral leaning towards warm um, crease color, which worked perfectly for the colors I was panning. So that is how I was able to make progress on this shade. And then the dark brown I used as an eyeliner. It really didn't take me very long to hit pan on this one once I was able to start reaching for it. And that's what it's looking like. So I am going to roll this out because I did meet my goal, which was just to hit pan on both of those shades. Um, but maybe next year I will come around and try to finish some more of this off. And lastly, we have my Kat Von D face powder. This is the translucent setting powder. That's what it's looking like. I mean, there's a ton of powder in here. My goal for this one is just to use this 50 times. And last time we had used it nine times and now we are at a total of five seven fifteen twenty twenty five twenty six twenty seven uses so we're a little more than halfway there i think we can do it because i've been reaching for this like every single day as my face powder and i like it i just i mean i'm not a huge fan of loose powders i prefer a pressed powder to set my face but I really want to use this up. It's just going to take a long time. So I've been enjoying using this in like smaller segments at a time. Um, that way, like, cause I do get sick of it. So this is the second project this one has been in. This was in my roulette pan collab. I didn't mention, I think, um, I think the foundation and this one, I think they were all in my roulette pan collab. This one might have just been in my regular project pan. Um, anyway, I think that's kind of what I'm going to do with this one is just put it in as a usage goal in other projects until it's gone, but give myself like breaks in between. Um, just because 
loose powders just are not my favorite and this thing is huge but I've had this for a long time so I do need to get it gone I did weigh this one as well so I weighed it the start weight is 729 um, and it was at 3.21 ounces and then today I weighed it and it's at 3.17 ounces so it did go down a little bit not a lot but a little bit so um yeah this thing will take forever to use up but we are halfway to our goal for next time so the only things that are left in this project is my l'oreal lipstick my aoa foundation and the kat von d powder we're halfway done i think we can definitely hit our goal on the powder um by i think the finale's next update right because we just do every other month so I'm at 27 on this one. I want to get to 50. I think I can do that for the finale. I'd really like to finish off that AOA foundation mixture. Um, that one I think is going to be close, but I am focusing in on that one like every single day and I really like it. So we'll see. We're just going to keep going on that one and see where we're at. And same with the L'Oreal lipstick. I think we'll be close, but I'm not sure if we'll hit our goal or not on this one. So that is everything for this update. I hope you guys liked this video and definitely be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for more and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye guys.